What's up, guys? JWS here. Um, from Cloud Nine Designs. Um, yeah. As most of you guys don't know, I don't have Vegas. I don't have Movie Maker either. I edit with a Mac. That's right, a Mac, not Windows. No Vegas here. Um, I have Final Cut Pro. That's my editing system. So I'm gonna give you a little introduction to this. Um, yeah. Um, so if you have a, if you have Final Cut, you have a Mac, um, stay in here and you might sound, find some stuff helpful. By the way, I'm doing this off the top of my head. I don't really know what I'm going to show you, but, uh, so if I, um, kind of think for a second, I'm not an idiot. I'm just thinking about what I need to do. Uh, as you see right now, it's importing some WMV clips. Um, if you're working with somebody that has a Windows and they have WMV clips, and you can't import them to Final Cut. You need to get a program called Flip for Mac. It's going to let you actually edit with those clips, and that would help. So let's just open up the Finder here and just drag some clips in. This will do fine. And I'm going to select No. All right, I'm at the end of the clip. Okay, what I just did was double click on the. Uh, uh, timeline, the thing in the timeline, the video, and it's going to pop up in the finder, and this is where I can add effects to the video, um, filters, and these are all the effects you can add, alright, alright, um, this is the viewer where you can watch it over, and first thing you need to do, or realize is, whoa, um, on a Mac, you cannot watch the video when you drag it in or add an effect to it immediately it says unrendered okay this is where most of the time goes in um when you render a video I just press control R all the time alright and it says writing video okay this is gonna take a long time for a clip 40 seconds yeah it's gonna be a while so and this happens you have to render it over and over again every time you add an effect I mean if you wanna watch it in real time or else you're just going to see that blue screen. So, having that in mind, I usually just add all my color correction before I watch the video, because I don't want to spend three hours cutting clips. And, um, there's a quick color correction. You can pause the video to see where that is. Uh, I got a plug-in package. Um, you can, uh, PM me on YouTube, um, if you need help to get this, but I use an effect called Selective Color Correction. And you can select any, uh, there's really no limits to this. It's kind of like, uh, Transolid Color Correction. You can make it like that if you want, but I think it looks a lot better. Uh, or you can make it look a lot better. You select a color, um, with this little eyedropper tool in the canvas, which is this window right here. And you select a color, and then you can desaturate or saturate that color. You can add hue to that color. Uh, you can do pretty much whatever you want with that. Okay, so usually I add one, making something desaturated, or maybe two, and then one saturating one different color. So let's make the green unsaturated, maybe. I don't know. I'm pretty much winging this tutorial. Um, let's find a place where I says gun out. I've got like a blue Tiger M40 right here, I think. Yep. So let's select the blue on the gun. Let's saturate that. Right there would be better. Yep. So, wasn't fooling around with this. Um, it's a big thing for editing. I've got about 50 seconds left, so I'm just going to add this in. Pretty much all of editing is, like, I don't think I'm that great of an editor. Alright. I mean, it's all about, I think it's all about your song. Okay. Um, and finding the right effects for the sound of that song, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But, um, if you know what I mean, um, my first tutorial, guys, I'm going to make some more, and this is a little introduction, and I'm going to get some more, get into some more in-depth stuff in my next one. So, peace. Um, yeah, check out my channel for more videos. See ya.